70 years old male is referred for obstructive pyramus and to rule out the cause. He has ascites uh, along with uh, obstructive pyramus. Now, I am in the region of the porta hepatis where you can see the dilation of the so common bile duct and by common bile duct is thick wall. You see? And this is the portal vein. And it has, in fact, this calculus that you are seeing is protruding from the neck of the GB or the Hartman's pouch into the common bile duct, directly common bile duct. This is a common bile duct, it does not, it will, if it is a vessel, it will take blood, if it is a duct, it will not take blood. Here in this position, uh, position it seems that if this is in the, within the common bile duct, but no, it is protruding and compressing the common bile duct uh, at, this, at the level of the neck of the GB, and the gallbladder itself is uh, full of uh, calculi, thick, fixed sludge, lambasal hai ke saro ko. Nek, baar nahi karna, lambasal hai wo. Roko. Now, this is the gallbladder. And you see that the gallbladder gives a suspicious appearance that of uh, being itself involved in a process which is an aggressive one. This is the fundus of the gallbladder, full of thick sludge, fixed, and the wall, this, see, this is the wall of the gallbladder, muffled, thick, up to approximately uh, 6.8 mm, and this is a calculus. This is, these are soft tissue uh, areas, ecogenic, uh, within uh, the lumen of the gallbladder. Now this from here to here and from here to here in fact is the gallbladder. So gallbladder itself is giving an appearance of a, some aggressive lien. So uh, this is the common bile duct. This gallbladder is uh, in fact this is a GB mass with calculi, with thick sludge, saban, and you see the calcif the uh, blood flow within the wall of the uh, gallbladder. And the wall is muffled with the adjacent liver parenchyma. <coughs> the intrahepatic ducts are dilated here and they are dilated more so in the proximal region. Few of them reach the periphery of the uh, liver, but here, this one going to show you again. Now this this area, this area that you are seeing within the dilated common binder posterior, uh, portal vein coursing posterior to it uh, is uh, a soft tissue area with no shadowing and uh, is most probably consistent with the cholangiocarcinoma until it unders prove otherwise. So, what about the pancreas in this age? Now this is the pancreas, body, tail, and the head of the pancreas. This is the head of the pancreas. There is no This is the head of the pancreas in longitudinal section. No focal is seen in this region. And the other thing is that the ex uh, these are dilated hepatic veins in the left lobe of the liver. A serpentious shape and uh, no ad ad lymph node is seen in this region.
So this is some uh, a mixed pathology in the sense that uh, it, it gives the appearance of being a Marigi syndrome along with GP mass, cholangiocarcinoma, and uh, the extrahepatic uh, CBD is not radiated. See, it is dilated here, up to here. See, and from here, it becomes of normal caliber. Let me show you in a better way. Now, this is the common bile duct. This is the area, suspicious area, which is uh, most probably keeping in view the uh, clinical presentation of the patient and age of the patient. Either a sludge ball in the common bile duct with the differential of pharyngocarcinoma when this is the portal vein. And this is the distal uh, CBD, which is not dilated. That, uh, now, had it been a, in Marigi syndrome, the gallbladder is distended. But here it is not distended because of the, uh, the reason that it has Change into an aggressive pathology. This is the gallbladder in front of you now. I have focused it. Gallbladder. With calculi, with thick sludge. Now, not only that, the spleen. Is a line measures approximately 16.0. Normal is up to 12, and there is, and there is uh, ascites, as you see. This is the urinary bladder, sorry. This is the urinary bladder. This is the fluid in the peritoneal cavity with bubbles floating in it. So, he has a situs, he has supinomagallic. However, the liver is normal in uh, texture. Outer surface of the liver is smooth. Here you can see the outer surface of the liver is smooth. Nullifying any uh, liver disease process. This is the ligamentum teres with a vessel within it, this one, in longitudinal section, ligamentum teres, and this is the vessel within it. So, this is our case of the day, which is consistent with Myrigi syndrome, uh, GP gallbladder, uh, sorry, gallbladder mass, and possible cholangiocarcinoma, with the situs in and Sapina Magali in the 70, 70 years old patient. Okay, Thank, you. Thank you very much.